What's up guys, Dan from Average Joe's Aquariums here. Um, checking in on probably one of the more exciting days of this water box build. Uh, we are getting very close to doing the tank swap. As you guys know, I have my 40 gallon breeder um, set up. There's four fish in it right now. We got Finley, we got Hank the Puffer, and we got the two clownfish back there, Vincent and Jules. And we have most of the water box set up. So I'm gonna show you what I have right now. This is a custom aquascape that I've been making for the past several days or probably closer to a week now. Um, it is much more 3D than it looks on camera and I'll show you a top down view to, to really show that. There is rock everywhere. Um, there are little spaces everywhere for fish to swim through. There is a big old cave back there big old cave over there overhangs everywhere for fish to hang out in so they should feel very safe and comfy and cozy in there so yesterday i actually made this i put this all together let me get this plumbing out of the way this is the water box aquarium stand um i'm i'm very happy with this it goes together like an ikea piece of furniture as you can see like these which is pretty dark in here you probably can't see but it, it is all cam locked together um there is a ton of cam locks there's probably a hundred of them in this setup um the sump is already in here um ready to go um i put the filter socks in there um i'm pretty happy with the aquarium stand i really am i mean i have no doubts that it's going to hold the weight of this aquarium fully um set up and running um the only thing i don't really like is some of the fit and finish cabinet doors were kind of hard to put on um, as you can see, it's not exactly flush here, and it's not exactly flush here, so it's a little bit off. It's not the biggest of deals. Once you put a tank on this, you're never going to see that. Anyway, I'm very happy with the way that this project is going so far. So, this is my game plan. So, my plan right now is to fill the quarantine tank up with water out of my main display tank right now. Take the fish, put them in there, cycle media, put it in there, heater, filter going, and whatnot. Then, take whatever remnants of water is in here, put it in buckets, put it in the brute trash can outside, whatever it takes to save as much of it as possible. Um, and then I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, take this stand here, put this stand here. After I put this stand here, I'm gonna fill the sump up with water to settle the stand in. Um, we are on a carpeted base, it's not um, ideal, but we are on a carpeted base. So when this stand settles in, I'm gonna level the stand. And then when the stand is level, I'm gonna put the tank on top of the stand take the sand put it in the tank fill the tank up with water from there the fish can go in and everything like that after that um, i'm probably going to take a lot of this this rock this rock here is probably going to go into my sump for now um, the sump has nothing really in it so i'm going to put the the rock in there because it's cycle media and it has all that beneficial bacteria in it hopefully the cycle won't start again um, that being said, depending on how I feel, I do have some bacteria in a bottle. I might just add it in just because, um, why not? It's not going to hurt anything, but I always keep one in, in, on hand, especially since this tank is about a year old. You never knew when you're going to have an ammonia spike or a mini cycle, just throw it in there just to, to help the fish out. Um, but that's the plan so far. Um, it seems very simple. I pretty much have everything set, so it's just big chunks of things to do. You know, water into that tank, fish into that tank. This tank drained, moved out of the way, um, breaking down that whole setup, putting this setup in place, leveling it, filling it with water, fish back in. And that's really how it's going to go, um, God willing. So um, this is the most exciting part. It's the most labor-intensive labor part. Um, but it, you know, it's all part of the hobby, I guess. What's up guys, Dan here from Average Joe's Aquariums and I'm just here to give you guys an update of pretty much the aftermath, the after party of setting up the water box. So here's the water box right now. It's set up, it's running great. Sump's running good, everything's healthy and happy in there. Um, already starting to notice some coralline algae start up in this tank, which actually makes me very happy, and also Mika as well. Um, so if you guys remember the earlier videos, this whole room was absolutely filled with crap. Cardboard everywhere, X fish tanks everywhere. I've pretty much cleaned up this room. There's still some stuff that needs to be done, but for the most part, it's cleaned up. It's at least livable. Um, I, you know, I felt like I was living in a junkyard for about, you know, half a week or so 
between moving the 40 gallon, setting up the water box, having the two other tanks that I was using. And uh, actually last night I actually drained the water box completely, um, just enough for the fish um, to stay in it. But uh, I actually drained it to get a little piece of cardboard out of it, um, which was the last thing I really needed to do. There was a little piece of square cardboard, just flat two ply cardboard, nothing major that was stuck underneath the tank. And it was gonna stress me out like What's, what else was underneath there? Uh, but it was nothing, nothing else was underneath there. So that's been removed, everything's good to go. I actually went back and forth with Waterbox customer support today. Pretty much like texting a friend, they're great. Um, but this is what it looks like, the tank. The room is, you can actually see the floor. Watching Chandler's Wildlife because I love snakes and cobras as well. I don't have any, but and I probably never will, but I still think they're cool. I just wanted to show you the aftermath, like what I've been dealing with so far. So that was that was the clean part of the room. And this is the part of the room where I still have to move some water around and get some of this old tank stuff out of. So um, we have a, a pile of clothes, some of which have been used as a rag. Um, a half full bucket of salt water. Um, this is all like spare parts mixed in with like instructions and stuff like that. Um, some water jugs because you never know when you need some water jugs. Kind of like a throwaway bucket of mixed sand and stuff that didn't make it into the tank. And here's the quarantine tank. It's got some equipment on it still. Um, it still has probably about five gallons of water in it that needs to be thrown out. Um, which I'm this is my next thing to do and then you have this room this is kind of like our weight room and it is as you can see just slam-packed with aquarium stuff it's a weight room slash junk room to be honest with you it usually doesn't look the greatest but um, there's still a little bit of water in this tank and I was actually using this aqua clear here as a, a water polisher after I removed the water from uh, on um, the water box last night. I actually plan on doing a video about how utilitarian these things can be, even in a fowler tank or a reef tank. It's always good to almost have one of these. You got this little curious doggo. But we got all this stuff from the previous setups, all this stuff over here that you guys probably couldn't see. Uh, the old screen top, FX4 all taken apart. Another bucket, another bucket, and just parts and buckets and water everywhere still. Um, but we're making it, we're making it. This is just like one of the things I wanna show on this channel is like the, the non-glamorous side of things. You know, it's not all like perfect water quality freaking tanks that you can see perfectly through, like there's nothing even in it. There's a lot of regular people stuff going on uh, when you set up these tanks. So I just wanted to, to share that with you guys. Um, all right guys, checking in again. Progress of cleaning up this water box. Um, the 40 gallon, the X Fowler tank is now gone. It is downstairs. Um, it was hosed off. It's starting to smell a little bit less like low tide in here, but I think this guy still needs to go for a little bit to go dry out. That's my 20 gallon quarantine. And I got all of this kind of like murky, gross um, stuff you really don't want to smell in carpet water that kind of came out of both tanks. But I figured I'd take you along for the ride for what I've been dealing with. Um, I live on the third floor of a house. The tank is in a third floor of a house, so also known as an attic that we've converted into a bedroom. So yeah, this is a pain, but I want to take you along. At least this bucket isn't all the way full. First set of stairs. Make a dog. Second set of stairs. Third set of stairs. All right, so that's the last heavy awkward thing I have to move down here. I don't know why I just became kind of like Italian there, but I think I'm gonna put the, the 20 gallon out there uh, for a little bit. Um, mainly because it's gonna be warm for the next couple of days and I'll probably get the air out and dry. So it'll be less chance of low tide smelling in the house. So let me grab that and I'll be right back with you. So it's funny, as I'm breaking down all this stuff and taking it outside and like, you know, generally cleaning up, I noticed something from past me who thinks that he had jokes. Ha 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 ha. Good job, past me. <laughs> 